part of this process of, of establishing your vision and, and really emphasizing that personal mastery, that uh, consistent improvement, is establishing what your values are. Uh, some might say, well, that's a given, we don't need to think about that. But you really need to determine what values really drive you. Because over time and with experience you'll learn that the values will compete and you'll have to make some choices, uh, make some compromises. And, and it's really important for an individual to know, here, here's my bottom line. Here, here's a value that really drives uh, my decision making, uh, my future. For, for an example, uh, one could say truth is a value. Uh, another one, loyalty. And from experience, uh, uh, I can assure you, those from time to time will come into conflict. Uh, you'll be working for somebody that um, expects you to do something that's inconsistent with your values, and you've got to make a choice. Are you going to be loyal to the boss, loyal to the institution, the business, or, or are you going to stick with your truth, your honesty value, and, and speak up and take the, the risk? Uh, one of the challenges for organizations along this line is, is to develop policies that encourage honesty and are supportive of and don't penalize uh, folks for, for being honest. Uh, creating an environment where it's comfortable to share honestly how you feel. Uh, some even suggest of having an amnesty policy that um, protects you a little bit. In a lot of organizations, there are whistleblower systems that uh, have some pluses and minuses. I, I personally prefer an environment where you're comfortable speaking up openly, sharing a concern, rather than anonymously um, calling or emailing or faxing in, sharing a concern you have where no, there's no way to follow up. Uh, it's anonymous. There's no way to... Uh, to check to see the substance of it, and it can lead to a lot of uh, difficulties. But certainly, having an organization where people are comfortable being honest is a huge uh, step forward and, and leads to a, not just a better environment, but better decision making. Um, having people be comfortable saying, I don't think that'll work, or why are we doing this uh, when the boss has just said, here's what we're going to do. Uh, being a critical thinker, being comfortable speaking up, being comfortable sharing what you really feel can not only be good for you in terms of how you feel and your commitment to the organization or the business, but also better for that organization or business itself and accomplishing what it wants to accomplish.